for this exercise, we will determine our pace count. What I've done is I've measured uh, 66 feet, okay, one chain. All right, you can see the blue ribbon over here in the foreground, okay, right there. I'll zoom in on it here, maybe. There it is, okay. All right, that's my starting point. And then in the far background, you can also see one chain away from that blue ribbon. Another blue flag right there. Okay, see it? Oop. Let me zoom in just a little more. See that booger? Okay, that is a distance of one chain or 66 feet. Okay, when we uh, when we first start with our pace count, all right. What we want to make sure that we do, okay, is we're going to count every other step. All right. So when you get started, all right, you're going to put your first lead foot forward and then you're going to go one, all right? So you're going to count every other step. So if I were to get started here, I would go one, okay? Two, three, so counting every other step. Why do we not, why do we not um, uh, count every step? Well, it's just, just more to keep track of, all right? So counting every other step, all right, using our normal stride, all right, we're going to determine this fixed distance. Don't run between these points. Folks have a tendency to want to cover as much ground as fast as they can with the largest strides. You want to do, use your normal stride that you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. So here we go. If you don't mind uh, a butt shot here, all right, I'm going to start from this point and count out loud. Here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Nookie did not count. Nookie, we're going to have to do that over again. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. So we're counting every other step. Okay. We're using our normal stride between these points because we know by the end of the day and when we're working out in the field, all right, we're going to get tired. We're, our stride is also going to change on slope.